You know, May is Foster Care Awareness Month, and for a while now, we've been sharing with you the struggles Tennessee's foster care system has been facing. Yeah, this includes the need for more foster parents. WAT 6 on your side reporter Kristen Gallant shares how one East Tennessee couple is doing their part to help out. Bo, Lori, right now in Tennessee, there are more than 8,000 children in foster care. There are nearly half that number of foster parents. One Morristown couple has been fostering for almost three decades now and hopes their story will inspire others to do the same. We were married 12 years and decided that uh, if we ever wanted to have children, we could do foster care. And we were watching a new show about foster care and how it wasn't going well, and we thought we can do better than that. So we signed up and got started. For Mary and Tim Malamphy, their foster care journey began right where you are right now, watching a news story about foster care. We have about 8,000 children in the state that are in foster care or needing foster care placements, and Youth Villages is serving about 500 of those. Uh, and in East Tennessee, we currently have 151. We're currently serving 28 foster youth in the Morristown area. The Melamphys began fostering nearly 30 years ago, adopting four of their foster children, but their journey didn't stop there. All in all, they've had over 170 foster and respite placements. It's been an adventure raising children, yeah. and I wouldn't have skipped it for the world. Well, there's been lots of challenges along the way, a lot yeah. of good challenges. Mary and Tim say they're retiring from fostering. This will be our third time to retire. Yep. <laughs> but they hope others will step up to the plate. Mary and Tim are just one example of what it looks like to be foster parents. And I think they set a really good example. Um, but we, we need people from all different backgrounds with different knowledge and different experience because all of our children are unique and have their own needs. It was a story just like this one that got the Melanthes involved with fostering. Maybe their story will get you involved too. Children just need parents. And that's a lot of what you're doing, you're parenting. So whether that means talk in the middle of the night or early morning or driving them to school instead of being on the bus or whatever that involves, that's, that's, what, that's what they need. And I'm hoping other people will open their homes up and give it a try. Morristown alone, there are 28 foster children in Youth Village's program, and they say 28 is a low number for them. They usually have around 40. Right now, there are only 15 Youth Village's foster homes in that area. Lori. Oh, Kristen, thank you so much. And we'll have more information how, on how you can become a foster parent, literally change the life of a child. And there are other ways for you to get involved. Just check out our website. Look for this story at WATE.com.